Lesion was seen on the face of 42 year old patient as shown below. Which of these would be the ideal management for this condition? So if you see here, uh, this is basically the cutaneous involvement. Okay, and we have to go for the uh, options here because this these kind of uh, lesions can be seen in a number of condition. So here, start on ATT, then you have topical retinoids oral steroids and start on MDT for leprosy. So basically if you just see here out of these the best one that is fitting uh, for this is going to be your cutaneous TB. Actually the cutaneous TB it is a rare disease although TB is very much common but the cutaneous involvement is very rare and if we just talk about the pathogens yes there is one M tuberculosis then you have mycobacterium bovis and one very interesting thing that is uh, the etiological factor that is your BCG vaccine. Yes, BCG vaccine is one of the etiological factors for development of the cutaneous TB. Now, if the patient is having the cutaneous TB here, right? So, what we are going to do, tropical retinoids, we are not going to give the tropical retinoids even in case of uh, whenever you want a epithelial uh, betterment, right? So in that case, you uh, whenever there is creatinization, whenever there is intraoral lesions, in that case you can of course go for the uh, retinoids. But this is not the condition where you can go for retinoids. Again, steroids, oral steroids are not recommended until a proper history is established so that you can get an inflammatory or uh, immunological reaction, right? And then only you can think of the oral steroids. Even before that, we are going to give the uh, uh, topical steroids right then you have leprosy now uh, we cannot uh, diagnose leprosy by seeing the lesion so by exclusion you'll have the TB uh, cutaneous TB as the most probable diagnosis for this condition and that's why you have to start on ATT right so a uh, patient is suffering from the cutaneous tuberculosis this is going to be a rare disease it is caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis mycobacterium bovis and basal comet gurin vaccine Okay, that is BCG vaccine that involves the skin. Now, the cutaneous tuberculosis can be acquired either from the outside or it can be endogenously and present as a uh, multitude of different clinical morphologies and that's why establishing uh, diagnosis becomes very difficult in this case. But this case, uh, this particular dermatolog uh, dermatological condition seems to be relating with the TB. That's why you have to start the anti-TB regimen okay so you have to start the ATT regimen right so the answer is going to be first that is your start on ATT regimen